Hello, and welcome to the game where we set out to become the world's fastest trash panda. Tanuki Sunset. Figure I'd do this and just enjoy a little bit of chill time. A lot of games have been pretty stressful and this is just something I can get back, relax, not worry too much about. And I figure I'd also, uh, clue you in on some things that I've been up to. So, for the past couple of months, I've mostly been playing Amnesia Rebirth, and I've started delving into Assassin's Creed and I've started delving into like the entire Assassin's Creed series trying to catch up because like with the release of Assassin's Creed Valhalla I was like I guess I really should catch up on that because at the time I was really looking for something to um, play that would hold my attention and after playing through uh, Assassin's Creed 1 and recently Assassin's Creed 3. I am really enjoying the series and the further I get in the game list, like, the more I find myself enjoying it. I've played a little bit of uh, Assassin's Creed 4 and let me tell you, I am thoroughly enjoying it. Like, it just feels right. Uh, other than that, though, I've been struggling to find things to play, like, nothing just really holds my attention. I've tried playing Call of Duty again, and I can only get a couple matches in before I'm just done with it. And it's really kind of a shame, because it still is also kind of crossing over into uh, Black Ops Cold War. and. I really, really do want to enjoy that game, and I do like it. It's just, I can't really stand playing a first-person shooter right now. And I've been wanting to check back in with uh, Destiny 2 for a while. I remember downloading it months and months ago. And I don't know, I just, it's a fun game, but I just, if I don't have anyone to play with, it's easy to get bored, with, especially with a game like that. Uh, Battle Royales, again, they're, they're fun for a little bit, but I can only take so much of it unless, again, I'm playing with a good group of friends or people that I just enjoy playing with. But yeah, outside of that, you know, I'm constantly checking, see, like, what would look fun to play and Steam really hasn't been offering a whole lot like maybe every now and again something interesting will pop up uh, at the time of recording this it is December 8th 2020 so Cyberpunk 2077 is right around the corner and once that comes out I'll probably be out of this like rut of I don't know what to play but that brings up another issue of I'm doing all these really long videos and they're great and all they're fun like I enjoy these games that are taking hours to play but I just want something quicker shorter and just something I can sit down for you know half an hour and just thoroughly enjoy you know, something that I can play between everything else that's going on. And that's where I've kind of found Tanuki Sunset. You know, I saw this game and first of all, yes, raccoons. Secondly, the overall aesthetic is just, it really grabbed my attention. Two, the soundtrack. It's pretty good. Something about the art style reminds me of another game that I wanted to check out. I might go back and check it out, but it's a few, well, a couple years old at this point. It's uh, Donut Country. 
which again involved another raccoon. Trash pandas are great, what can I say? Outside of that though, uh, there are definitely a few horror games that I'm waiting on. Happy's Humble Burger Farm. Uh, I might go back and revisit that. I know it got updated recently and I did kind of promise a part two to that. The only thing is I really shot myself in the foot with that because at the time it had no save feature. I mean, yeah, it's an alpha. It's technically a demo. And it is great. And I want to experience that more. Uh, another game that I'm kind of waiting on is, uh, what was it? It's food com... Uh, let me look it up real quick. It's uh, Cooking Companions. It's this weird visual novel, like, horror game. Like, if you liked uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, like, that was crazy back in the day. Well, back in the day, I'm talking about, like, it was forever ago, but it w kind of was this unassuming game that was like, oh, it's another cute little like visual novel dating simulator kind of thing but it starts taking some pretty dark turns and i played the uh demo for cooking companions and i actually enjoyed it so much i went to support their kickstarter for their full release of the game and i eagerly await that one it's going to be fun like i don't really well, okay, visual novels can be fun if done right. It's a new interactive, like, storytelling medium, and Cooking Companions, it's very goofy, but it has some really dark moments. Uh, another game that I've played and done one video on was uh, Super Luminal. Again, fantastic game, just because I haven't done another part of it yet doesn't mean I don't like it. I absolutely love it. I was super hyped when I saw the trailer for it. And it's just very unfortunate. I might try to play it again, but the first time I played it, I started getting a little motion sick. And then I even watched some videos on it and watching them, I was getting a little motion sick. I don't know if I was just sick with something, but I was getting nauseous and it doesn't happen very often but some games just really have that effect on me. I don't know whether it's the graphics or the frame rates or whatever. With me there are some games that I've played before for hours and hours and then the next time I play it I'll start getting motion sick. I don't know, it's bizarre. A lot of the reason why I do enjoy playing the games and making videos on them like this is I really want to share the experience and I really do enjoy playing games and having friends there. I've spent countless hours in high school at LAN parties or just hanging out with friends while you know we play games and one of my favorite moments is when I was at my friend uh, Brian's place and he had gotten uh, the first Dead Space. This was back in like 2007, 2008. And it was just fun sitting there watching him play and just making jokes with him or making fun at him for getting spooked by a jump scare. And those are the moments that I just really love. Those are the moments I reminisce about a lot, like the good old days. And by doing these videos, I hope to replicate that experience and hopefully provide some great reactions or good commentary and just also practice uh, video editing working with the rest of the <laughs> Adobe Suite 
And especially for me is just working on talking. Because if anyone knows me in real life, I can usually, like I'm usually the very quiet one and don't speak up unless, you know, I'm really in the moment or have something important to say kind of thing. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's been going on in my life for the past few months. Uh, and there's just so many projects that I want to work on and do, and I just gotta find the motivation to buckle down and start working on them. One fact about me is that I love learning things, practicing new things, and getting new experiences. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up, get some quick lunch, and get ready to start my stream. So I'm really have been itching to dive deep into uh, Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. So I got that stream coming up here in a couple of hours. Uh, thanks for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you on the other side. And as a quick note, yes, I do plan on doing a proper let's play of Tanuki Sunset because there are two more courses so far in this game. And I will beat them.